Hi everybody, Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors. And this week's contract tip is just a very quick one. Um, it is on the sale or lease contingency exhibit in both the GAR contract forms and the RE contract forms. So I've done several other videos on this exhibit um, and on the contingency of a, uh, a, a contract going contingent between a buyer and a seller where the buyer has a property that they must sell or lease in order to purchase the new home. Uh. So please look at those other uh, video contract tips that I have done on this topic. But this is just a short and sweet one um, regarding this contingency. So like any contingency in a contract, you must have a time frame for that contingency. And without an identified time frame, then that contingency would go through the day of closing um, without it being identified because the contract goes, but, but for the parties, there is a closing date that ends the contract. So in the GAR form, which is form F90, Sale or Lease of Buyer's Property Contingency Exhibit, uh, in paragraph B, it does state that this agreement is contingent upon the occurrence of the following on or before and there's a blank and so the buyer and the seller negotiate a time frame for this contingency to be met and the contingency is the buyer closes on the sale of other property or the buyer enters into a lease on other property with a lease term of at least so much uh, so much time so again uh, this is just a really short one for a more further explanation of this whole contingency of a buyer having to sell their current home in order to purchase a new one. Please watch the other videos I have done. But for whatever reason, lately, we seem to be having agents um, not completing the time frame for this contingency that the buyer has until a certain time frame to complete that to be able to sell or uh, lease their home. And the reason this time frame is so important is because the next paragraph states that the buyer agrees to use the buyer's best efforts to fulfill the contingency or contingencies referenced above prior to the expiration of the contingency period, which is that time frame that you that you negotiate. In the event the contingency period ends without any contingency referenced above being fulfilled, this agreement shall terminate. Um, now the contingency may be waived uh, with notice, so forth and so on. But you've got to fill in that time frame. Um, and likewise, on the RE form, which is RE 251, Sale or Lease Contingency Exhibit, again, there is a time frame for this contingency to be met by the buyer for the contract. And it states the buyer's obligation to purchase the property is of the new property is contingent upon the sale or lease of the buyer's current property located at, and you fill in the blank of the current address. This contingency, here's the time frame for the period of this contingency. This contingency shall expire at 11.59 p.m. on the day that is blank days after the contract acceptance date, which is the binding agreement date. The time period beginning on the acceptance date and ending with the expiration of this contingency shall be known as the contingency period. So again, um, more information on this whole concept in other videos, but please make sure that you do not leave that time frame blank on either the GAR exhibit or the RE form exhibit. Thank you so much for watching. Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors, satisfying your needs with service, innovation, and education.